In this crochet tutorial, I'll show you how to make the Angelus Lovey Blanket. A very cute project for babies, which includes tapestry crochet and amigurumi techniques. By making separate hexagons which are joined to shape the blanket, and the parts of the angel which are seamed by the end. Remember that in the description of this same video you can find the link for the written instructions and more details about this pattern, also the suggested materials. You'll need a 2.5mm crochet hook, one 40 grams skein of fingering weight yarn in main color, one 40 grams skein of fingering weight yarn in contrasting color, one 40 grams skein of fingering weight yarn in camel, one 40 grams skein of fingering weight yarn in brown, two 6 mm security eyes, stuffing, stitch marker, pins, tapestry needle, measuring tape, and scissors. We'll begin with the star hexagon, which is crocheted in the round, enclosed rounds, starting from the center. To find the support chart for the star and center hexagon, select the link to my blog that you can find in the description of this video. With main color, make a slip ring. Shape a loop by placing the yarn coming from the skein above the beginning tail. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over with the yarn coming from the skein. Pull through the loop. And we're ready to start round one. Chain three. and make 12 double crochets inside the ring. And when we have the three beginning chains plus 12 double crochets, pull the beginning tail to close, And to close the round, skip these three beginning chains and slip stitch in the first double crochet. And round one is finished with 12 stitches. For round two, chain three. Two double crochets in first stitch. Double crochet one. Three double crochets in next stitch. And repeat, double crochet one, three double crochets in next stitch, four more times. Then double crochet one, double crochet one in first stitch, and to close the round, Skip the three beginning chains. Insert the hook in the first double crochet of the round. Yarn over with contrasting color. And make one slip stitch to close the round. And round two is finished with 24 stitches. 
From round three on, we'll work tapestry crochet technique. By wrapping main color or contrasting color in between the stitches to shape the star. With contrasting color, chain three. Two double crochets in first stitch. Yarn over. Insert hook in first stitch. By going under main color, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and close the first double crochet by wrapping main color on the right side and wrong side of the work. Start another double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn over. Insert hook by going under main color. Yarn over. Pull through the stitch. Yarn over. Pull through two loops. And before closing, We'll change back to main color by lifting the yarn in front of contrasting color, yarn over and close the stitch. And we're ready to crochet with main color, now wrapping contrasting color. With main color, double crochet 3, yarn over Insert hook in next stitch by going under contrasting color, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and close the stitch. And we've completed the first double crochet with main color, now wrapping contrasting color on the right side and wrong side of the work. Continue with two more double crochets with main color. Start the third double crochet and before closing we'll change to contrasting color by lifting contrasting color behind main color Yarn over and close the stitch. And we're ready to crochet with contrasting color once again. Three double crochets in next stitch. Before closing the third double crochet, change to main color. By lifting the yarn in front of contrasting color, yarn over and close. And repeat with main color double crochet 3, with contrasting color 3 double crochets in next stitch 4 more times. Always lifting contrasting color behind main color and main color in front of contrasting color. When making the color changes to prevent yarns from getting tangled while crocheting. Then with main color double crochet 3. With contrasting color double crochet 1 in first stitch. Skip the three beginning chains. Insert the hook in the first double crochet of the round by going under main color and make a slip stitch to close the round. And round three is finished with 36 stitches and color changes. 
Notice that before closing every round, we're making one double crochet in first stitch, then we skip the three beginning chains and make one slip stitch in the first double crochet of the round for a cleaner beginning and end of rounds. For round four, with contrasting color, chain three, two double crochets in first stitch, two double crochets in next stitch, double crochet one, And before closing, change to main color. Double crochet one. And before closing, change to contrasting color. Double crochet one. Two double crochets in next stitch, three double crochets in next stitch, two double crochets in next stitch, double crochet one, and repeat. With main color, double crochet one. With contrasting color, double crochet one. Two double crochets in next stitch. Three double crochets in next stitch. Two double crochets in next stitch. Double crochet one. Four more times. Then, with main color, double crochet one. With contrasting color, double crochet one. Two double crochets in next stitch. Double crochet one in first stitch. Skip the three beginning chains. Insert the hook in first double crochet of the round by going under main color and make one slip stitch to close the round. And round four is finished with 60 stitches and color changes. Cut main color. For round five, chain three, two double crochets in first stitch. We can hide the end tail of main color in between first stitches. Double crochet nine, three double crochets in next stitch. And repeat, double crochet nine, three double crochets in next stitch, four more times. Then double crochet nine, double crochet one in first stitch, skip three beginning chains, and slip stitch in first double crochet of the round. And round five is finished with 72 stitches. Fast enough. And weave in all ends on the wrong side. And we've completed the star hexagon. From the right side and wrong side of the work. Make a total of 18 pieces. Then make one center hexagon, which is crocheted in the round in closed rounds starting from the center. 
by following same rounds for star hexagon with contrasting color only. And also within the ends once it's finished. We'll continue with the angel head, which is crocheted in the round in a spiral starting from the top. With camel, make a slip ring. And for round one, chain one and make six single crochets inside the ring. Pull to close. And round one is finished with six stitches. For round two, make two single crochets in first stitch. And continue by making two single crochets in every following stitch until completing 12 stitches. And round two is finished with 12 stitches. For round three, single crochet one. Two single crochets in next stitch. And repeat. Single crochet one, two single crochets in next stitch, five more times. And round three is finished with 18 stitches. For round four, single crochet one, Two single crochets in next stitch, single crochet two, and repeat two single crochets in next stitch, single crochet two, four more times. Then two single crochets in next stitch. and single crochet one to finish the round. And round four is finished with 24 stitches. For round five, single crochet three, two single crochets in next stitch, And repeat, single crochet three, two single crochets in next stitch, five more times. And round five is finished with 30 stitches. For round six, single crochet two, two single crochets in next stitch, single crochet four, and repeat, two single crochets in next stitch, single crochet four, four more times. Then two single crochets in next stitch. And single crochet two to finish the round. And round 6 is finished with 36 stitches. From rounds 7 to 9 continue increasing by offsetting the increases until reaching 54 stitches. And round 9 is finished with 54 stitches. From rounds 10 to 21 continue making one single crochet in every stitch to get 54 stitches in every round. This is the work by the end of round 21. 
place the eyes between rounds 17 and 18 with an interspace of 6 stitches. For round 22, single crochet 7, decrease 1, insert hook by taking front loop of next stitch only, immediately insert hook in front loop of next stitch again, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and close. And we've completed an invisible decrease with single crochet, which is very useful for a migurumi. For stitches to remain tighter. And repeat, single crochet 7, decrease 1, 5 more times. And round 22 is finished with 48 stitches. For following rounds, continue decreasing by going back, following the same sequence as for the increases and making invisible decreases. By the end of round 25, we'll have 30 stitches. Fill in with stuffing. Continue decreasing in every round. And by the end of round 28, we'll have 12 stitches. Fill in the rest of the head and for round 29, decrease 1, repeat 5 more times. To have 6 stitches by the end, slip stitch in next stitch and fasten off by leaving a long tail. And we've completed the angel head. We'll continue with the angel hair and halo, which is crocheted in the round in a spiral starting from the top. With brown, work like the angel head until round 9. For round 10, single crochet 4, 2 single crochets in next stitch, single crochet 8, and repeat 2 single crochets in next stitch, single crochet 8, 4 more times. Then 2 single crochets in next stitch and single crochet 4 to finish the round. And round 10 is finished with 60 stitches. From rounds 11 to 13, continue making 1 single crochet in every stitch to make 60 stitches in every round. By closing last stitch of round 13 with contrasting color, cut brown and for round 14 we'll work with front loop single crochets. Insert the hook by taking front loop of first stitch only, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over and close. And we've completed the first front loop single crochet of the round. Continue with one front loop single crochet in every stitch to complete 60 stitches. And for round 15, we'll work back loop single crochets. Insert the hook by taking back loop of first stitch only, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, and close. And we've completed the first back loop single crochet of the round. Continue making one back loop single crochet in every stitch to complete 60 stitches. For round 16, repeat round 14 by making front loop single crochets. By closing last stitch of the round with brown. 
cut contrasting color. And for round 17, repeat round 15 by making back loop single crochets. Then slip stitch in next stitch. And to shape the hair, we'll continue crocheting back and forth, starting from the center back part. Chain 3. In this case, we'll count these three chains as the first double crochet. Then double crochet 24. We'll have the first 3 chains and 24 double crochets, then half double crochet 2, single crochet 1, slip stitch 1, And we've completed the first part of row 18, which is the first half of the hair. Turn the work by leaving remaining stitches uncrocheted. Skip first stitch. And continue with one single crochet in every stitch until completing 28 stitches. by making last single crochet in the third beginning chain of last row. Fast enough, leaving a long tail. Then rejoin brown to front of the hair. On the right side, by skipping two stitches after first part of row 18. Skip these two stitches. Rejoin brown to the third stitch. Skip this first stitch, single crochet one, half double crochet two, double crochet twenty five. And we've completed second part of row 18 by reaching center back part of the hair. For second part of row 19, turn the work chain 1, single crochet 1 in first stitch and continue with one single crochet in every stitch until completing 27 stitches. Then slip stitch 1, and fasten off, leaving a long tail. And we've completed the angel hair and halo from the front and back. We'll continue with the angel arms, which are crocheted in the round in a spiral starting from the hand. Repeat rounds 1 to 3 of angel head, and from rounds 4 to 7, make one single crochet in every stitch to complete 18 stitches in every round. And closing last stitch of round 7 with contrasting color. For round 8, make one front loop single crochet in every stitch. For round 9, one back loop single crochet in every stitch. And from rounds 10 to 23, one single crochet in every stitch. Then fill in the hand and fill in the arm slightly. Then for round 24, repeat one single crochet and one decrease all around. For round 25, repeat one decrease all around.
then slip stitch in next stitch and fast enough leaving a long tail and one angel arm is completed repeat for another piece and now we'll continue with the angel wings crocheted in the round in closed rounds starting from the center with main color repeat round one of star hexagon then for round two chain three two double crochets in first stitch two double crochets in next stitch and continue with two double crochets in next stitch ten more times then skip the three beginning chains insert hook in the first double crochet of the round and make a slip stitch and round 2 is completed with 24 stitches for round 3, chain 3 double crochet 1 in first stitch 2 double crochets in next stitch double crochet 1 and repeat 2 double crochets in next stitch, double crochet 1, 10 more times. Then 2 double crochets in next stitch, skip the 3 beginning chains and slip stitch in the first double crochet of the round. And round 3 is finished with 36 stitches. For round 4, chain 3, double crochet 1 in first stitch, 2 double crochets in next stitch, double crochet 1, and repeat 2 double crochets in next stitch double crochet one, 16 more times then two double crochets in next stitch skip the three beginning chains and slip stitch in first double crochet and round four is finished with 54 stitches for round five chain three double crochet one in first stitch double crochet one two double crochets in next stitch double crochet two and repeat two double crochets in next stitch double crochet two sixteen more times then two double crochets in next stitch skip the three beginning chains and slip stitch in the first double crochet of the round and round five is finished with 72 stitches don't fast enough and fold the piece in half with wrong sides facing together to shape the wing chain one insert the hook in first stitch of one edge then insert the hook on the stitch right behind of the opposite edge and complete one single crochet Continue inserting in next stitch of one edge and in next stitch of the opposite edge by completing one single crochet every time. 
until completing 36 single crochets to reach the other side. Fast enough, leaving a long tail. And one angel wing is complete. Repeat for another piece. And continue with the assembly of the hexagons to shape the blanket. Select the link in the description of this video to see the Angelos blanket assembly charts, where you will be able to see the process for joining the hexagons. Before starting, make a slip ring with contrasting color. Pull to fit to the hook and we're ready to start joining. Take the center hexagon on the right side and one star hexagon on the right side too, with one side in front of one another. Insert the hook in the center double crochet of one vertex in the center hexagon and then insert in the center double crochet of one vertex in the star hexagon. Yarn over, pull through both pieces, yarn over, and close the first single crochet. And the two hexagons are joined. Continue by inserting in next stitch in center hexagon, and going through next stitch in star hexagon and completing one single crochet and repeat for the following stitches until reaching the middle stitch in next vertex both in the center hexagon and in the star hexagon Take another star hexagon on the right side. Insert the hook once again in the same center stitch. Then insert in the center stitch of the vertex in the star hexagon. Yarn over, pull through both edges, yarn over and close. And continue with single crochets to join both edges to join this side with a new star hexagon until reaching the center stitch of next vertex. Insert the hook in the same stitch once more to join another star hexagon and continue until joining every side of the center hexagon. Then slip stitch in first single crochet And fast enough. Then continue with a new row of star hexagons. On the right side, insert the hook in the center stitch of one vertex with a slip ring already in the hook, and insert the hook in the center stitch of one vertex in a new star hexagon to complete one single crochet. And continue with single crochets until reaching next vertex. Take another star hexagon and join with next side. Fast enough and repeat for every star hexagon to complete last row of star hexagons. And weave in all ends on the wrong side. Then join the long opened edges from the center to the edge of the blanket. Fast enough. And then join last six open edges. From last row of hexagons to the edge. Fast enough. And we've joined the complete blanket. Then on the right side, rejoin contrasting color to the edge of the blanket to the center stitch on any vertex of one hexagon. Insert the hook, yarn over, 
pull through the stitch and we're ready to start with round one of the blanket edging. Chain three. Double crochet one in first stitch. And continue making one double crochet in every following stitch all around the edge. Use this round to hide the end tails all around the edge as well until reaching the beginning once again. Skip the three beginning chains and slip stitch in the first double crochet of the round. Fast enough and weave in all ends. And all the hexagons have been joined to shape the blanket from the right side and wrong side. We'll continue with the angel assembly. With tapestry needle close back of hair opening. Only making a few stitches for it to look similar as remaining stitches. Then place the hair and halo on the head by tilting backwards. One or two rounds above each eye and centering front part of hair between the eyes. And with tapestry needle start joining Then continue with the other thread on the front. Until joining all around the edge of the hair to the head. Then sew the head to round two of center hexagon by lining up the eyes with the widest side of the blanket. Then sew the top of the arms to the blanket on each side of the head. And finally sew the wings to the lower back of the angel head with right side towards the front, with the curve down and tilting upwards. Fast enough and weave in all ends on the wrong side. And we've completed the Angelus Lobby Blanket on the right side and the wrong side. A very cute choice to welcome a new baby, to take everywhere as a toy or use as a small blanket for sleeping. Hope you really enjoy creating it and that you show me your own versions. And try with different colors to see how nice it turns out. 